What's going on, everybody? This is John Bain. We're back with the Sons of Forest update, and man, it's a big one. Actually, patch 01 has hit hang gliders, binoculars, balance squeaks, bug fix, and lots more. Let's jump into it. <laughs> So the first major patch has been released for Sons of the Forest, and my god, it is ginormous. It's divided into five different sections, uh, at least on the description portion of the uh, the Steam page, uh, into features, balance, improvements, fixes, audio. Holy crap. Uh, I'm not even kidding. This is massive. This update is massive. It feels really good, too, because they're, well, they're responding with things that are necessary. First features that have been added are binoculars and a hang glider. Those are going to be pretty interesting to find in-game. They've also added in the defensive wall gate. I just pulled up some of these uh, walls in the front that I've got here and putting in front of me. There are seven right there. When you get up close to it, you get this option here. And then when you look, you can press E. And it, there you go. There's your gate. You have a gate now. You can now do the gate. Oh, uh, oh we, and we can still choppy the top of these as having a gate. Okay. Interesting. That is, that is nice. There we go. There it is. There it is right in front of you. Nice. Another of the features that they released, too, is a mid-game boss fight in the food bunker. We'll have to go check that out in our playthrough. Uh, they've also added a, re a settings reset in the options screen. Virginia now has a leather suit we can get to get picked up, so you have that. And then also the locking of doors. I guess we could go ahead and make a door right quick. Okay, so we have the door built. It's set up here. There it is. And this can actually get out of the way. Thank you very much. I should have sticks, but we'll just grab one just in case because we're professional sticks. Sticks. Oh, that was low ones. How many sticks did I not have? Anyway, uh, let's go in here. Grabbing you, and let's see here. Place it there. And that's all you need to do to unlock a door. I'm I'm fine with that. I, I totally am fine. It's locked now. And then this is not locked. Okay. So you just, okay. I just, okay, we got it. All right. Hey, it works. It works. That's awesome. So, built small structures, uh, in parentheses, furniture, can now be grabbed. While grabbed, it can be either placed again somewhere or thrown to collapse it and get back its resources. So, we've got two chairs here. So, we should be able to pick it up? I did with C. Okay, I was able to pick it up with C, and I can rotate it like I was just doing before. And is there a distance placement for it? I don't know. I don't know if there is or not. So, let's put you right there, though. Here. There you go. Pretend that you like chairs. So if we take this one and we can throw it and that's picking it up. Is it G? It is. Oh, and we get all the sticks back. Okay, I'm down with that. That's fine. What are some of the other parts of the features? They've added some additional story elements. So there's that. There's a new anime headshot death animation variations were added for cannibals. Angry regular cannibals can attack now by jumping out of trees. Small birds will now land and eat slash gain fullness. I'm not sure what that is supposed to mean. We also added the option to hide player with name tags. Okay, that makes sense in a multiplayer thing. Add an option to hide projectile reticle and trajectory. Okay, if you're into that, there you go. Fish trap should now work and catch fish every five to ten minutes as long as it's placed in water and the current season is not winter. Okay. Added lookout towers to, to some cannibal villages. That will be interesting to see. Story paper pickups will now show a UI to zoom in. It also added a new structure type, the one-sided apex. Fills the space between a leaning beam and its supporting beam. Aligns automatically based on the leaning beam orientation. Fills quarter log variations the right length automatically. There we go. So you can place it down. And it, there it is. Okay, got it. So this can go in there, and then this one here will go on top. So now you could actually do decent looking roofs. Very nice. That looks so good. So to make this happen, I believe we need a base beam going across base log, then have a vertical log going up before you make your actual angle. And then it should allow you to set up this in betwixt. I think that is very nice. Awesome to see it. That's awesome. That is all of the features. Improvements. Let's see, they improved red cannibal animation and blends. Fix sleeping animation for female cannibals. Set a player effigy uh, struggle idol for multiplayer. 
fix the bouncy logs when in deep water. That's good. Performance speed up for world locators. Add a logic to allow hatches and doors to be forced open when a player is spawned inside. That is great. Fix for some LOD, sometimes not switching correctly. Fix error causes when quitting while in death wake up. <laughs> Unique story items are now forced equipped when they are collected. Okay. That's interesting. Door orientation is now determined by the position of the player when placing it. The face is in front of the player is the interior face. Adjusted deer and moose locomotion for better pathing. Prevented placing bench so close to objects that players could be stuck when standing up after sitting on it. Good call. Added more props set up for melee impacts and collisions. Added LODs optimizations for the wall torch. Destroying screw storage now spawns stored items as dynamic pickups. Beach greebles are regenerated with coral rock size reduced. Okay. Bunker food fix some small lighting issues. Added radio to bunker food. Turn the table cards for Mr. and Mrs. Puffton into story pickups. Okay, that's good then. That's good to see. And that's all the improvements. The next section is fixes, and it is massive. There's been a lot of just general, well, fixes done to the game thus far. There's too many to go through in this video. I'll show it on the screen here. I also have a link to the patch notes below, so you can check it out for yourself if you want to dig through it. There are a couple things to note, though. First one, of course, is you should no longer be able to get through locked doors with a stick. <laughs> there are speedrunners out there doing it in like nine minutes. Uh, fix Kelvin cutting down trees with player structures attached. I know a lot of you will, will be so happy about that. And like I said, there is so many fixes for, for this update. It's just insane. You should check it out for yourself. See if there's something in there that you've experienced that you're happy to actually that they fix. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know which one like you really are excited about. Personally, I'm happy that Kelvin will stop chopping trees. The final section is the audio section. They've improved audio CPU overhead. That's great. Improved some cannibal audio vocals. Great. Reduce audio stuttering issues. All right. Reduce intensity of high wind audio to reduce performance impact. Reduced max instances of footstep audio to reduce CPU costs and improve performance. Change the audio ringing effect on explosions and grenades to lessen as you are further from the explosion and avoid it cutting out with distance. Okay, that's good. Uh, spittle audio added to the first spittle nest in entertainment bunker. Okay. <laughs> added fade outs to physics sounds to player rock footsteps when running, waterfall, and surf levels. When running. Okay, so waterfall and surf levels should have gone down some, I guess. Added gunfight audio before door opening and get down some cutscene. Updated triggered and reset audio events on fly swatter, bone maker, and small animal traps. Prevented repair tool from spamming sound effects, causing performance and audio issues, and fixed an audio loop not ending when climbing down ropes. This is a very, very hefty update. Of course, I wasn't able to go through every single thing because there's so much. I'll have a link below in the description to the patch notes if you want to read them yourself and go through all the fixes because there is a crap load, my friends. There's a crap load. Uh, but we did go over the majority of stuff. I'm looking forward to looking at uh, finding the binoculars and the, the wing glider. That should be extremely fun. Either way, that's what we got. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not to keep up with updates. And we'll see you next time.